Uh, this is Justin with the Junk Drawer Show. Still weird, still weird that I'm here and introducing this instead of like Josh or Pat. But uh, hi, how's it going? Today you are going to be watching episode four of Road to Freak. So previously with the movie that Josh and I are writing, we have been trying to communicate and figure out what we want each character to have as far as an arc, like beginning, middle, end. And in this video, we're looking at outlines. So we're looking to find out where the story is going to go and that it has an act one, an act two, an act three. And I think we accomplished that. I think we did a really good job. I think there's going to be a lot of detail that we put in it, but having this base, I think is really going to help us. And I'm really excited for you guys to kind of see it. So hopefully me moving the table uh, under my knees isn't too creaky and loud on the microphone. Uh, and you enjoy this podcast. Oops. It's okay. trying. Okay, it says it's going. Uh, I'm going to uh. assume that's true. <laughs> so, okay. hello everyone. Oh, do you want me to do a clap sync first? You just did it. I didn't do the clap sync. You just clapped. You were. <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone. Hi. What's up? We're Welcome. back with episode four. Yeah, this is episode four of Road to Freaks, our our movie we're going to write. And yeah. Make. Working title. Working title. Uh, I believe you... Did you get rid of the... Oh, there it is. Real plot down to business to the business singing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what we're going to call it in the end. The business so this singing. Is, <laughs> so this is the outline. So we're thinking of... We have to think of the skeleton basically of our movie we have to know we have ideas of where we want to go possibly but this is mm -hmm. i think the first step in an important one obviously to figure out where we're going from here so yeah yeah Be because last episode we did dan Harmon's story circle for the group and then the three different uh, characters right to kind of get an idea of what we wanted to happen what kind of story we wanted to develop and now we're going to actually decide what happens because I think we've only talked about the really the start, the beginning and the ending, right? Yeah. I'm also trying to move this so that your face is right below the camera. Oh. Hold up. Because otherwise, <laughs> it, it, otherwise it's going to look like I'm over here the entire time. Yeah. I have you in a very little screen. Uh, wow. By my camera. Um because I have dual monitors, because I'm a big brain boy. Yeah, bougie bitch. I am bougie. Okay, so down to Ow. business two, the business thing. Ning, ning, ning. Yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. I think we... Do, do, I still like the idea of it starting off with the D&D campaign. Okay. So, you want to start it at the D&D campaign? Yeah, I want the opening shot to be the exact screen we use for Junk Drawer. Okay. Um, so let me see here. Because my thought is we can take that exact screen and just have higher quality cameras instead of using the webcams and right. uh, D and D Beyond, and it'll look good. And then. If we can get Nikki to come in as Quentin and be the impetus, that'd be great. If yeah. not, I think that'd be a good spot for uh, like Pat to be in and just like do the fill the spot of Quentin, but not be Quentin. Okay. You know, like he would so, just be a friend that we had who he's like, guys, I haven't talked to you outside of the game in like three years. This isn't fun for me. I'm going to go. Okay. Like the game should go poorly, you know? Do we just want to do we want to start it right off the bat, or do we want to establish like what a day or what an evening in the life of say Cooper is? Like we <clears throat> we do like one where it's maybe you're finishing up a session, and then we just kind of see the because that's also somewhere where we can you could just stick opening credits in anyway uh, while you're doing like mundane things like after you close your laptop like. Big sigh, you know, do brush your teeth, you know, wash your face or whatever. Like, whatever Cooper does before he goes to, to sleep. So, like, in the same way that we did 
the original? Kind of. So I think opening it with the D&D game is good. I just don't think it should open with the let's quit. Let's not do it. Because we don't know anything about the characters yet. We don't know, like... I don't know. It just seems like it might be too random right up front for me, personally. But hmm. okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What if it was kind of like uh, that episode of Community? I think it's the the last episode of Community, where they keep running through uh, every character's um, uh, season fantasy seven. for season seven. Yeah. yeah. Like, we have... <clears throat> maybe some sort of blowout or maybe just like an unhappy ending so and then it starts off and it's cooper like closing the laptop and like <sighs> and then he goes through some sort of routine and then maybe if it's at night maybe he goes to sleep and when he turns off the lights it, it resets back to that same point then it goes okay. through skyler's oh, when okay. he goes to sleep it resets goes through xander's that could be interesting yeah okay so okay i'll write that down okay. um community finale where each character finishes the stream and then does their nightly routine resets when they go to sleep to show the next character Okay. Yeah, I'm, I I am torn about that because we do need to care about the characters before the issue sets up. Yeah. That's the issue. I don't know how to convey that. Yeah, we might have to do a little bit more research on how to make like meaningful characters in a short amount of time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, so we have that. Once the impetus happens, or like whatever causes them to the, the campaign to break apart, who do we want to be the one to propose? Are, are we still set on like a camping road trip idea? I think that's a good idea because, I mean, the other way we can go is like, I would say coming back to where we started like doing bridge shit and being around in the what you call it the uh the old neighborhood that they grew up in because we you know it's easily available for us but i i like the idea of a of a camping trip because it gives you into an isolated kind of area you know yeah and it also gives us a, an excuse to not be in our states like in real life <laughs> like we can just yeah. go do something that's true too um so i think catalyst maybe should be either uh someone should come up with it or it should be thrust on xander to to come up with it uh thrust upon him how like you know being like you should plan something and like what do you mean i should plan something like yeah you should plan something figure something out and we can all get together and do something I'm like what because then that can play into the hesitancy for the leadership role. Um, it could play into possibly, because I do like the idea of, when I was doing the Pinterest board, I like the idea of Gary King um, from World's End. There's mm -hmm. just, you know, so, there was a lot sadder things behind him for bringing everyone back to do the Golden Mile. But I think using him possibly as a catalyst could be, I think could be good. But that's just that's just my thought process. What are your thoughts? Should they just agree mutually or Hmm. I, I I like the idea of it being thrust upon Xander. So I think my only question is who actually comes up with the idea? Right. And then is that is is that a characterization that we want to build upon? Like, do we want let's say it's uh Cooper? Mm-hmm then <clears throat> does the group get upset that he comes up with ideas and then just doesn't follow through on them? So he pushes it off on someone else or yeah. is then Skylar and Cooper pushing it on Xander and it's just the way that the friendship always has been. Ooh, that's good. Um, it could go either way. Um, I like the idea of the two of them because everyone has a different dynamic together. Mm-hmm. 
So I think those being your two's dynamic, which is you guys come up with different ideas and then thrust it, could I think would be good because we also have to think about relationships between the three of them. You know? Yeah. Yeah, which we kind of had because at least in the original, because as a group we were it was very much you two were the wild child children wild children doesn't sound the same i was the you schemer two, he was the wild child yeah but but like you guys were cooper was very controlled and reserved and you right. guys were the opposite of that so you kind of pushed him into being in these scenarios where he was uncomfortable right so your your dynamic together is go tip over a cow right. uh xander and cooper's dynamic together was much more familial and like i got shit to talk about Let's have a drink and talk shit through, like yeah. we did in the prequel. Right. And then I don't, I don't know, I don't. I think we didn't really go through Skylar and uh, Cooper's. Cooper, very yeah. Much. So that's a new territory that we can start exploring into. Yeah. Okay. So the trio comes up with the idea to do a friend road trip, camping trip, vacation, whatever. Reunion thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Skyler and Cooper thrust leadership onto Xander to plan it all. Yeah? Yeah. Dope. So I think... Hmm. What if the intro is, instead of like rewinding, we just keep cutting to another session... Okay. So the fir- it still opens with D and D. The first one then closes, goes to Cooper, goes through his his <clears throat> opening. Okay. Then it's nighttime. Goes to the next time they have a session. Closes, goes through Skylar's stuff. And in each session, we kind of hint closer to the idea that they need some sort of reunion. Mm. The third one is where the the breakup happens, and that's when. Skyler and Cooper thrust the idea upon Xander, then his closing is not sleeping because he has to plan this this whole thing out. I like it. Okay, yeah, and it sets that that precedent. Yeah. Okay, so let me um three separate nights. So it'd be time. three separate months too. Oh yeah. Because we are doing monthly, right? The yeah. monthly games. So three separate Nights. Each time the game ends, it follows a character for a little bit. Ends when they sleep. Last one is Xander being forced to plan the trip. Okay. So at this point, we forced you to start planning. Okay. And what? How do you think that would go with Sam? Or do you want to get a higher level view before we get into the weeds? Uh, what do you mean by that? Do you want to get more bullet points? Because right now we just have the bullet point like A, B, and C happen. But do you want to get like let's what let's a bullet is? point first, and then we can expand as we go. Okay, I think that's smart. So the next is what them telling work that they're well. Uh, at least Xander and, and Cooper telling work that they're going on this vacation. Um, and Skyler yeah. just telling his fans that he's going to be uh, running reruns for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And I wonder if we need to show it or just have like a montage. Or just like, do, do we need a whole scene for it or is it kind no. of a throwaway line? Um, I mean, if the because the work is going to be a a big part of like the third act yeah as of now yeah so we should probably try to position the work load or the work life as almost antagonistic i would think because then it would justify it okay that makes sense yeah so the the trio tells work slash fans that they are going away for do you want to make it like two weeks like a real vacation two weeks could be could be good 
My thought with that too is it's pretty easy to deal with someone for a week before you start things start to break down and like the facade of yeah. like uh, everything's okay, you know. Right. Like I think ten days is the is the perfect time for a vacation because okay. you take a couple days to this is just like life stuff. I think the first couple days you're just like getting into it. Then you spend a couple days where you're like you're fucking loving it. Everything's great. Then you spend like a day or two where you start to feel the desire to go back. It's like okay, I've been here long enough. And yeah. but just before it gets bad, that's when you leave. But right. then if you're there for, for two weeks, you just stay in that like. All right, I get it. It's paradise. Can I go, please? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like that idea. I like that reasoning. Thanks. So two weeks, 10 days is the perfect amount of time to appreciate normalcy before ending. Okay. I think it's a good point. Yeah, that should be a, a pretty key scene. Okay. And then where should they all meet up before <clears throat> going on the road trip? Airport? Uh, well, yeah, and I think it depends. We definitely should have some car scenes, but if we're doing New Mex if we end up doing New Mexico for the fact that we can make money back, <laughs> then I think we would have to shoot outside of an airport, but I don't know if we can do that. Possibly if, not. Plus, it'd be too loud. Yeah. What if they bus meet stop? at? Could do bus stop. Sorry. That's also going to be very loud. What if it's an Airbnb that they have for one night before they go on the road trip? Yeah, that could be good. That's a good idea. Okay, so they meet, meet at the Airbnb. At an Airbnb. Kind of like what we did for our Pat's trip. Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah. Just with a longer duration, and then that one place is only going to be there for that one night. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. At whatever uh, location they plan to go. Uh, reconnect through the night. Head out in the morning. Do we want to hit like a national park or something? Like, what do we want to do as people? Because if this is, if we're going to film this as a way to have an actual vacation as well. <laughs> like, I'm trying we, to Josh it. Hold on. I'm trying let to Josh me, it. Yeah. Me I mean, New Mexico national parks. There's got to be like, um, ooh, there's a caverns. Um, but it's also $160 to go. Oh, gross. Aztec um, ruins? Yeah, I was looking at that too. El That's Camino cool. Real de Terra Adventuro. Oh, Carlsbad Caverns. That's yeah. what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. El Morro. Isn't Area 51 in New Mexico? <laughs> I think so. I mean, I know we can't go there, but I, I want that to be a plot somewhere. That we're going to Naruto run to Area 51? <laughs> yeah. It's in Nevada. Oh, damn it. Vegas trip. <laughs> <laughs> we could make it Vegas. Uh, I've been to Vegas. I mean, the desert's really cool. Like, the outskirts of Vegas is really nice. I, I actually liked it a lot. The, like the actual Las Vegas itself, the strip, lots of anxiety. I get that. Yeah. It's something I'd, I want to do at least once for a long weekend, but I don't, it, it doesn't pull me, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like Aztec so, Ruin seems cool. In do you want to just put Aztec Ruins for now? Yeah, I'm gonna say Aztec Ruins. Oops, that's where I'm at. Oh, I, I got it, no worries. Aztec Ruins, Carlsbad Caverns. Area 51. Area 51. <laughs> Even though it's not. So Skyler can in... get kicked in the chest by an alien. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's in Nevada. Uh, 
That's not how you spell Aztec. Azteca. Azteca. Because what I think with uh, this is where we have to start looking into laws and shit. Because I don't know what the law is about filming in certain places. Yeah. So that's a good point. Because filming at the, I, I wouldn't want to be one of those people, you know, who like fucks yeah. up. Also, let's just assume COVID's done by the time this happens. Let's hope so. <laughs> but even, or even if we never make it to those places, that's just right. That's like, the goal. Yeah. Um. Should they have should for the road trip portion? Should it be an RV or just stuck in a car together? Ooh. I like the implication, like the what can happen in an RV. I feel like a car. It's hard to film in a car. That's what I'm thinking. So I think an RV would be better. The only part with an RV is that's a lot more money. Yeah, no, it is. With a car, we all have one of those. <laughs> we do. Put car for now. Okay. I would say put um, car for now. Travel in a car, fight over shotgun. Um, I don't know, fighting over shotgun is the only one that doesn't seem quite as... Like, it's the first thing that's coming to mind that isn't, uh, oh, someone takes off their shoes and their feet smell. Right. You know? Especially if we bring in the uh, the deal that Mike and I had growing up, where we got what shotgun in each other's car. Oh, yeah. I think we have to renew that in 2023. <laughs> in 2023? <laughs> yeah. Well, we extended it again because we made it was like a 10-year agreement. Oh, was it? And it was like we, we when we first got our he first got his car, which would have been 2008. Yeah. So it was it was 10 years, 2018. I think we extended it for another five years. I'd, uh, I'd have some Lawyered. comments. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that, that could work. What's the uh, what's the agreement, though? Oh, just that we get shotgun in each other's cars. No, I mean for the, the movie, not for real life, Josh. Oh, just that they get shotgun <laughs> in each other's cars. Okay, but who? Oh, I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. Probably you and uh, me. I, probably. Because okay. I think Xander and Cooper are closer. I would say so. Um, Xander Cooper agreement for shotgun. Um, film at rest stops. Mm -hmm. Because I think we want to film at places that we don't really have to worry about asking people to do it right so rest stops um what are those things when you're on a mountain and there's and the road is here and then there's a bunch of dirt so that you like have a place to stop on a mountain it's not oh, a rest stop like, like a pit stop yeah let's call it that mountain pit stop overlook yeah overlook could be a thing that might be what I'm thinking of. Okay. So I feel like this is we have a lot of Act One. Yeah. Right. So what what do we have right now? Uh, they decide to road trip slash camping and then adapt to hijinks. Right. So that's where we're at now. So. What could we put for hijinks? <laughs> um, do, does Xander still have that that elf streak in him? I would think he would have uh, have it to an extent. I don't. I don't know if it's the same as when he was a kid. <sighs> the idea I had would cost too much money, in the sense well, that we need someone with a Tesla. Idea? Oh, 
because you know how they have like the pet mode where the AC yeah. is still going, so it's it, everything's fine. But yeah. if he didn't know that and then tried to break the dog out of the car, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna write that as just an idea. Okay. Hi, Jinx. Uh, Xander wants to break a dog out of a Tesla on pet mode. Okay. Uh, Skylar's gonna. Skylar will always be on his phone. Okay. Until we, like, throw it away, right? Was that the idea? <laughs> I think so. I think that was either tossing in water or something. What if we just take the SIM card? <laughs> take the SIM card and just make him go crazy? Yeah, because, like, I, at least from, from a Cooper perspective and also a, a Josh perspective, I, I wouldn't destroy a phone, you know? Right. And Cooper definitely wouldn't. I would just... <laughs> Like almost passive aggressively take the SIM card, so he's like, "Oh, my phone! Oh, your phone doesn't work, dude. That so sucks. Weird. I guess you have to look at us now." <laughs> That's fair. And then what? What's Cooper's pogo? His pogo? Um, is it ooh? Being a sad sack? I was. I was just thinking that. Being super negative yeah. about everything. I feel like that right now we have. I guess that could work. What? Because it, it's it's more it's a it's a bummer, but it's not annoying. Right. Like we want something that's gonna like poke at them. Every I mean, time have happens. you been around a consistently negative person all the time? They're very annoying. Yeah, you're right. It's a good point. Just being super cynical. Yeah. Just put it okay. in parentheses because we don't know if that's going to be it. Yeah, this is just... I'm, I'm kind of doing a lot of ideas right now. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And then I think we need hijinks between each of them and then hijinks as a group. Yeah. So Cooper and Xander... Xander and Skyler. Skyler and Cooper. So Cooper and Xander. What if uh what if Skylar doesn't drink? Ooh, like he's uh just <clears throat> straight edge or he just doesn't like doing it? <sighs> A little bit of both. Like, I don't want to pull in straight edge because I'm thinking a way for them all to bond would then be drinking together. But if yeah. it starts out that he won't drink and Cooper and Xander just get shit-faced one of the nights. Maybe when we're in high school, we had him drink excessively to a point where he did something super embarrassing. Okay. So Cooper and Xander... Wait, how... Uh, where's the character stuff? It's up. Skyler. Okay. Um, Cooper and Xander <clears throat> made him drink a shit. Let's say college. College? Okay. Yeah, only because where we did the the original one, we were at the end of high school, right? I was at the end of high school. So, yeah, I mean, we could say that we were probably all at the end of high school. I'm, yeah, yeah. So I figured we were yeah. like 18 at that point. Okay. Or something. Eh, college. We'll do high school. I don't know. No, I, th I think college is fine. Okay. Drink a shitload at some point in college, and now he doesn't drink at all, especially with these two fucks. <laughs> Trying to give it some flavor. Ooh. So... Do we want to spike his drink or just get really shit faced? Or um, both? Both. Okay. Get shit. I feel like that can be Cooper and Xander's getting back 
to being friends, like real friends. Oh, okay. And they want to pull Skylar in in like a oh you matter to us too, but he but they don't realize how much that night fucked up his head with drinking. Yeah. Okay. Want to include Skylar? Spike his drink, meaning well, but not doing well. <clears throat> okay, Xander and Skylar. Um, Xander and Skylar. I mean, also, Sandra I Sky- kind of picture the Cooper and Xander scene like the the Jeff and Abed drinking. Oh yeah, like that kind of tone, and it's like happy, jovial. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I don't know what uh something for for Skylar and Xander to do hijinks wise. Um possibly destruction of some kind of property because i feel like that's that's where we left them before mm-hmm. um do we want to make skylar get hurt again <laughs> no i don't want to get him to hurt again maybe like a minor injury not him getting kicked in the chest no no i just mean yeah a minor injury is as almost a callback yeah do like a kelso ah my eye <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hmm. So uh, will they? How do we maybe make making, them destroy something when they're not drunk? Maybe making a scene, like making a scene in uh in the restaurant or like in a diner or something, because then you can tie in the wrestling owl my eye thing. <laughs> okay. Where we try to actively embarrass you in places. Okay. Should it also be a dine and dash scenario? Ooh. That the reason they're doing it is because someone was supposed to pay for dinner and then couldn't. <laughs> okay. What market are you guys <laughs> buying from? It's the market price. <laughs> um, yeah, I like th- I like that idea. I was thinking of like a, a d- dine and ditch kind of scenario, but I, I wasn't I wasn't figure I couldn't figure out like how to incorporate it. Oh, sweet. Okay, so do we want to say Skylar can't pay? Yeah. We're like, wow, man, I can't believe you're really helping us out with this. And you're like, what? He's like, what? What do you mean? He kept saying, I got it. And he's like, yeah, I got where we were going to go. I got I us the wallet. reservation. I got us the resi. This is a McDonald's. This is a McDonald's. We're not a McDonald's. Yeah. What's a, that place that it's like a grill. You sit down. I have this one. I can't. Macaroni grill. <laughs> if I can't macaroni grill. We're at a Sizzlers. Skylar can't pay causes a scene with Xander uh, Xander doesn't know he can't pay and is doing it just to fuck with Cooper that way you Xander also feels betrayed by it because he thought they were just having a lark but yeah. it's distraction yeah uh, okay okay so, Skylar and Cooper. Skylar and Cooper. What is, the, like, we really didn't develop the relationship in the first one. No, we never did. He was, um, from what I remember, he was just very supportive of you and of Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Because he asked you about it. You also didn't like when me and Quentin would fight. So obviously there was there had to be something there for you guys to to bond on to. Yeah, like I I I, I really feel like there was more of that had Nikki been in the rest of the movie. Yeah. Um, so who? I mean, we could do that, but that's not really hijinks. That's just story development. Right. So let let me um I'm gonna write that under Cooper. Uh bonds with Skylar when Xander argues with anyone. Yeah. Cause you could cause Xander could definitely argue 
just with, with anyone at any point. Correct. <laughs> okay. But that's not hijinks. That isn't hijinks, no. That's just a, a character tree. Um, like their really dynamic really to... isn't set up for hijinks. No, I don't. I don't think so. Um, trying to think. Examples of hijinks. <laughs> Examples of hijinks. If we can't think of something, we can move to all, and then just come back to it too. Yeah, just just move forward. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to think. Okay, because we need we need the hijinks to like build to something and then fuck them up, where Xander has to make a decision. Right. Um. What if they do something like? What if Xander convinces them to do something sketchy, but Skylar gets his SIM card back right before, films the whole okay. thing, streams it, and that's why they lose their jobs. Ooh, okay. That's a good one. Do something sketchy. Skylar has his SIM card back and streams it. Live streams it. Causing them to all lose their jobs. Okay. Some of this I think we'll end up having to rewrite too, based on the story circles we did for individual characters. Yeah. But I'm cool with that. Okay. So where do we go from here? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I would think after that it would be blow up, no? Yeah. Because this is where they would all have to oops, like fall apart as friends, right? Yeah. So this would be the end of Act 2? I would think so, right. yeah. Um, fallout from above. Events. I guess some of it now matters if we can make it to the place that we're trying to get to. Okay. Like, do we want that as a symbolic? Like, they don't make it at all. Yeah, I think I think they shouldn't make their meet their destination. Okay. Possibly, don't I don't know, because you could always end it at the the destination too. Before transitioning to the the epilogue. What what if one or two of them doesn't make it? Like one of them is just like flights are super cheap right now, so I'm just gonna go home. And then it's only like Xander's there just by himself. Okay. I like that. Would it be Xander? Like what I which think... of the two would kind of Like who who are we following the most? That's a great question. I don't know. Um, I don't know if uh, having them them leave. I mean, this is supposed to be like a journey for the three of them, right? Yeah. We just have to find what that resolution would be. Your sky picture looks really weird right now. Why? What do you mean? It's like um like the top half of your face and your beard are you look like you have vitiligo okay great <laughs> but now it looks like you have the um phantom at the opera mask on <laughs> try covering your face and then uncovering it i want to see what happens stardust nothing okay whatever i blame skype it's all about the audio anyway 
uh i don't i mean i think i look okay on the on my screen it just fix i think it was just my end great can't wait to see that in post i know at the timestamp of what are we at 3850 yeah 3850 okay okay so maybe they don't make it to the destination the destination was the journey and the friends they made along the way wow the real friends were the treasure they made along the way (laughs) shut up i know what i said i know what i said i heard what you said you can't unring that bell (laughs) um so they i kind of like the well let's jump back real quick Who, who we're following the most because there's one thing, and I, I don't know how we do it with this, that I liked from one of the movies that you showed me in high school. And it's the one with the three brothers. Is it the Jonas Brothers? N- no, it's not the Jonas Brothers. Which one it's, is it? Uh, it's got Owen Wilson in it. Oh, Darjeeling Limited. Yeah, yeah. I love that like, movie. <laughs> so for the first... I don't know, 10 minutes of the episode, you're following, I think it's Bill Murray. And it's, uh, then, sorry, uh, it's, I think the opening is Bill Murray, and you think the movie's gonna be about Bill Murray. It's like the first three minutes. Okay. And then, so the first, mm-hmm. go, go, no, you go. No, I was gonna say, and then Adrian Brody comes into frame, and then you follow him. Yes. But what I liked about that is you follow, because like as viewers we anchor on to the first person we see and then mm-hmm. they become the the lead but when it's bill murray and then he's just gone and then you you're instantly introduced to these three brothers you're not anchored into one of the brothers right. you're anchored into them as a group and i'd love to do that with this i just don't know how okay um because the way we have it now if cooper's the first one to to have his um like his going to bed scene yeah then then the audience like anchors on him okay um we could like Mm -hmm. we could use whoever so whoever we use for the D D campaign we could do that we could have let's say it's pat um Mm -hmm. we could have pat be the the main character for the first two to three minutes and then just not see him again Okay. That could work. Like, does does uh, Bill Murray come back in the Darjeeling Unlimited? He doesn't. I'm looking at the, the opening. He's in it for less than three minutes. He's in it for two minutes. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna add that as a okay. potential opening. So, open with random person in campaign. Pat... And follow them for three minutes IRL before starting the what the stream scenes meant to stop the audience from anchoring on one member of the group. Sorry, I found a. Uh, I'm gonna put it to the side. I found a um, breakdown of the relationship between the three brothers in Darjee Limited. Ooh, so okay. someone did like a really cool video essay on it. So I'm just gonna post that in there because I I already was starting to watch it. Um, just because it looks it looks cool. Yeah, um, I'll definitely watch that after. <clears throat> yeah, because I think we can take a lot of inspiration from that movie too. Well, I love the movie, so <laughs> limited because it is about three people reconnecting, right? Because the um, the thought process of that is just the the catalyst for them was it ended like the relationships ended when their father died, and mm-hmm. Owen Wilson's character brings everyone together because he recently he got into a uh, motorcycle accident and uh he realized life was too short so that was basically that and then jack which is jason schwartzman's character i want to say he was 
his he was just a writer who uh and he was the youngest and then adrian brody was supposed to be i think the middle child i'm just trying to figure out like i'm trying to remember the movie i haven't seen it in a very long time um so yeah i'm gonna watch that at some point but yeah i wonder if that's on amazon prime possibly uh amazon prime <clears throat> or chilling uh Oh, no, you have to buy it. I'm not going to spend money on it. You're like, ew, it costs money. <laughs> ew. I only make money. I don't spend money. Oh. My dad's rich. <laughs> Do you know my father, John Money? John Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> John Amazon Prime of the yeah. Amazon Primes. <laughs> um, okay. So we have that for the intro. If they don't make it to their destination, where do they reconvene? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because um, we we could have the so if they're gone for two weeks, we could have one Airbnb day booked at the beginning and then one booked at the end. Yeah. Okay. Because because so that they could still meet back there. Okay. Or maybe or maybe it's uh what if it's not even an Airbnb? It's like their friend's house. So that it's it's kind of open whenever, but they have flights that they can't take until the day of, so they're kind of stuck in that location. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they they try to cut their vacations early. Yeah, I guess. And then if they're all in one car, I don't know how they would get back. Yeah. I guess I mean, buses exist. Buses and you know, uh, Ubers exist yeah and it would it would still likely all be in the same place like the same state so it's not crazy far yeah okay so as a tentative um two of the guys go back i'm still gonna call it an airbnb two of the guys go back to the airbnb leaving Xander to be at the destination by himself. Tries to enjoy the experience, but can't. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So, like, during the day, when maybe Skylar and Cooper get back, then they, they're able to patch shit up. And then by the time Xander gets there, there's still a, maybe more unwarranted or, like, hostility. Mm, okay. So, if, if we're going in that direction. Yeah. Eh, let's let's go down it. If we if we scrap it, we scrap it. Uh Cooper and Skyler what patch things over while they're without Xander. Then Xander gets back and tensions return. I guess that's where they would start patching stuff up too. Right. Because we still need them to return back to their normal lives. And then I think we, I guess act three would be showing them trying to live their lives. Mm -hmm. Right. So return to normal lives. Try to get by as usual but just aren't happy also we need to figure out the the whole company thing yeah the whole company thing like that old chestnut that old 
chipper dog because we don't want it to I, I, I would hate it to be a company that it's a company that helps friends get back together after a long amount of time like yeah right something so on the nose that's so dumb uh, no I thought it, it, it should be playing into like possibly Skylar's like streaming thing weren't we gonna have Xander be in charge though yeah he could be a producer oh so like building Skylar's thing up either building it up or I don't know that's that's <laughs> that's some of the hard questions I guess we could double down on Xander streaming or Skylar Street uh, yeah Skylar's streaming career because the whole time Cooper and Xander wouldn't support it like they'd support it but they'd be like you're never gonna do it <laughs> And then he gets some real fame because of that live stream. Right. Like the live stream goes viral, whatever. Okay. And then he needs more people to help out. Okay. I think that I think that could work. Uh Skylar gets some viral fame from the live stream of hijinks. So it, what, was Cooper going to lose his job or was Xander going to lose his job? I think Xander was going to storm out, right? If one of them was going to quit. One of them was going to lose it. What did we write? Uh, Xander quits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Cooper loses his job. Xander quits his job. Skyler reaches out for help building his new stream empire. I don't think we really have to dive into what they know yet, but Cooper's IT, so that would make sense. I think Xander's right. just like a personality and also the kind of get shit done by whatever means kind of thing. Okay. No, I see that. <clears throat> I think that I think that's good too because if the whole time they don't give a shit about Skylar's streaming career and they don't believe in it, to have it come around, yeah, would be so. Yeah, we should also Cooper and Xander should also talk shit about Skylar's streaming thing okay um so do you want to read through the bullet points and sure and think if they make sense i'm going to run to the bathroom real quick so that okay. should time out pretty well i will run it with everyone okay hell yeah we're doing a lot of this together, huh, guys? Uh, okay, so <clears throat> plot points are open with random person in campaign, uh, parentheses, Pat, and follow them for three minutes in real life before starting the stream scenes. Meant to stop the audience from anchoring on one member of the group. Junk drawer style D&D opening, community finale where each character finishes their stream and then does their nightly routine, resets when they go to sleep, and, have the next and show this to the next character. So it'd be three separate nights. Each time the game ends, it follows a different character for a bit, and it ends when they sleep. Last one will be Xander, who is forced to stay awake to plan for said trip. Uh, trio comes up with an idea to do a friend road trip, camping trip vacation. Skylar and Cooper thrust leadership and onto Xander to plan it all. The trio tells work fans that... Uh, they are going away for two weeks. Ten days is the perfect amount of time to appreciate normalcy before ending. Uh, they meet at an Airbnb at whatever location they plan to go, reconnect through the night, heads out in the morning. Uh, they're either going to go to the Aztec Ruins, Carlsbad Caverns, Area 51, even though it's in Nevada. Uh, <clears throat> travel will be by car. So different things in the car are like fighting over his shotgun, uh, film, uh, different kind of rest drops, and then different kind of mountain like pit stops or 
places on the side of the road. Uh, hijinks will include Sandy wanting to break a dog out of a Tesla on pet mode, Skylar always being on his phone, stealing his SIM card, Cooper being super negative about literally everything, Cooper and, Z- and Xander getting shit faced to reconnect, wanting to include Skylar, Spike his drink, uh, meaning well but not doing well, uh, talk shit about Skylar's streaming thing. Xander and Skylar. Skylar can't pay, causes a scene with Xander. Xander doesn't know he can't pay and is doing it just to fuck with Cooper. Uh, Skylar and Cooper, we still have a question mark for. Uh, all. Xander convinces them to do something sketchy. Skylar has his SIM card back and live streams it, causing them to all lose their jobs. Uh, there's a follow up from the above events. Don't make it to the destination. Two of the guys go back to the Airbnb, leaving Xander to be at the destination by himself, trying to enjoy it, but he can't. Uh, Cooper and Skylar patch things up over while uh, there's no Xander. Xander gets back and tensions return. Hey Josh, return to normal lives. Try to get uh, by as usual, but they aren't happy. Skylar gets some viral fame from the live stream of hijinks. Cooper loses a job. Xander quits. Skylar reaches out for building his new stream empire. I think it makes sense. Okay. Cool. I think it does. I mean, I mean the one thing I know we'll have to do is kind of weave in dialogue that leads from one thing to the other but right yeah that's a solid uh, skeleton my guy hell yeah so what are S- Skylar and Cooper's hijinks yeah that's um Skylar and Cooper I mean if they don't have it they don't have it maybe well to... they're both like techie kind of things like you do IT he does the streaming thing can they like pull a prank on Xander involving that? Hmm. But like does that what? make sense? It I makes sense. Know. It does make sense. I just don't know what it would be. Um because it, like maybe messing with your phone. What if they just either. douche it to your phone? Just start controlling my phone like nothing nothing unreal like that like having to install software and stuff but just small things like um like you can take all the color out of an iphone super easy (laughs) just like little things to fuck with him okay okay i mean just fucking with xander and his his technology his base technology because i figured he'd have like a nokia oh you think so yeah not like a super smartphone true what if they just hide shit i you know the hide shit could be is that too similar to the sim card Mm. yeah a little bit maybe doing something that would warp his reality like um you know the the jd prank where he keeps collecting many things so he can trick chark into thinking he's a giant (laughs) yeah Nothing that extreme, but like if we could do something that would slowly chip away at, because I feel like he would also have OCD, so something at like an OCD kind of thing. Um. Okay, so so like small, small OCD focused pranks. Yes. Like, um, let's say Xander is in the front seat in the passenger Mm -hmm. seat and every time he gets out of the car they reset it to being like one click forward (laughs) okay i like that just being super i have uh 13 things that drive ocd people insane um when people say you're crazy because you do things a certain that's dumb i feel like Uh, yeah i feel like that's just one of those like when you send an important email or text to somebody and that person doesn't text you back immediately no i want to know how to actually like uh piss off my friends how to piss off ocd people give me a sec resetting the seat position in a car yeah um i assume we'll have some sort of scene where we're eating dinner somewhere Mm -hmm. so moving his cup when he goes to the bathroom like that's how i see it is when they're alone they don't really know what to do so just like move your cup of like six inches to the right i like that I also think that Cooper and Xander are uh, Cooper and Skyler are the less like Cooper I think is less creative Zan, uh, Skyler I think is just less destructive yeah even though okay. he did the cherry he did the cherry bomb thing though so I don't know he did he's changed he's grown 
<laughs> he's an adult. The OCD thing kind of plays into why you make decisions based off of a D20. Oh, yeah. Because it's structured. Play in. Okay. But I think that's a, that's an easy way to show a connection, but also show that they don't know how to connect with each yeah, other. like that. And then when they're back at the Airbnb, that's the first time they're not, like, they're able to connect because they don't right. have Xander to, like, fall back on. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, I think this is like a pretty solid skeleton. Yeah. No, it's good, man. Do you want to wrap this episode here since we're about at the hour mark? Yeah, I think so. I think this will be a good uh, a good time to end it. Yeah. The business is singing in ing. <laughs> so like comment subscribe watch us on twitch and hopefully watch this movie at some point when we make yeah. it 2021 we sure hope uh really hope oh, so podcatcher yeah whatever wherever you watch pod or listen to podcasts please like rate us comment that type of stuff because that bumps us up a lot um oh a link would you send that's the Darjeeling link. Oh, weird that it just came through now. Oh, that anyway, is weird. but yeah, so check us out on, on whatever. It's the Junk Drawer Show pretty much anywhere you look except for YouTube because we don't have 100 subscribers yet. So follow us there. Subscribe to us so we can get our name before someone else takes it. Like Junk Drawer Magic Show. Yeah. Is that a thing? That pops, that pops up a lot when you look it up. Oh, well, that's not us, so I don't care. <laughs> okay, great. Cool. Bye. Bye.